Hey guys, so what up here, and welcome back to NASCAR Heat Fork Row Part 65. We got Iowa and Chicago Land. This part, which this will be the part which I'm almost certain we'll get enough money to finally upgrade a part to our vehicle, which has been what feels like over 10 races at this point. But we finally have gotten there, and we're all good to go on this stuff. But for Iowa, usually I always have their AI tire wear up to more effect. Thankfully, past me already did that, so thank you. And that's really about it, so um, we'll just kind of just jump right into qualifying and hopefully uh, we'll have a decent enough race to get a top 10, but I don't know if that'll happen. We need a lot of luck though, if that were to be the case. Off turn four, I'm just hoping for like a mid 20th place starting grid. And like usual, we're almost about a second off, and only six tenths. 21st, that's not bad. I'll take it. So, that's good. So we'll see who's on the pole. And it is Cole Custer. Okay, well, Custer, wow. why is Vinnie Miller 10th? And why is Stephen Light 8th? Why is Grawla 7th? A lot of questions with no answers. But here we go. And we're going to be starting 20th. But that may actually be good because usually they kind of stop on the, the the restarts of the race. So um, they may be good. So, wow, Christopher Bell, John Jackson, all and Christopher Bell. And yeah, they all had problems. So, wow. Well, here we go see how this plays out but this is actually this might be perfect like I was saying that we're on the outside they always stack up so um, I'm just gonna go to the super duper high lane in turn one in hopes that you know we can gain some spots and I mean they stacked up a little bit but not too crazily my slider's on nine so I don't know if this is gonna hurt me in the long run of the race or what but it felt fine and qualifying Clemens please don't wreck from that that was like such a baby tap Okay, well, this may take me about seven or so laps to get this car into gear so it starts doing stuff, but, um, actually, we're going to make some spots up already. Unless Sadler wants to make it four wide, yeah, go right ahead, Sadler. I just gained you three spots. I hope you feel good. You know, I, I shouldn't be shocked that Chris Rebell is right behind me, but it's been six laps, and he went from 40th, roughly, not 40th, but 38th to, like, possibly 19th in six laps. That is just... <laughs> Oh my good lord, please don't kill me in the corner. Like, if you're so much faster, just pass me on the outside. That's all I want, and that's all I ask. J just go on the outside. What? You're getting passed by... Okay, it's Michael Annette, never mind. But th th that's the universe we're in, where I'm, like, justifying Michael Annette passing Christopher Bell is an okay thing. Then again, he's won in this season before, so I guess I shouldn't be shocked. But that's the standard and bar we have set. But thankfully, we are at the halfway point in the stage, and it should be the halfway point where... You know, our cars start to do things and gain some spots, so that's good. Though I know Chris Rebell is probably going to pass me, so I'm trying to let him up on the high side. I'm trying to make it very obvious, but it's like he just doesn't want me to, you know, doesn't want to pass me, which is, I guess, okay by me, but and there we go. We're going to go up to the 16th here with passing Matt Mills, as Bell is still trying to figure out the concept of trying to pass someone that's slower than him. You'd think he would learn that by now in, like, his, in this universe, it's like his 10th year in the Xfinity series. Okay, we popped the Saddler and friends with this like group of cars, and this this could be a potential stage point area we're kind of getting close to doing, which is pretty crazy. I didn't think the car had that much in it, but yeah, once we get to like 95 everything in the car, that's that'll probably be the point when I'll stop with their tire being more effect, because I feel like that's like the, the, the percentage rate where that's like more balanced or more fair. So, wow, we're actually gonna get stage points or a stage point. I'm more than positive that we're going to pass Brendan Brown as well as Ryan Sieg up there, so it's only a matter of time. Inside of Brendan Brown for ninth. Like I said, didn't take too long. We actually are closing in on Chase Briscoe. A little bit, it was like 8.3, now it's 8.1, so holy crap. If we have a long run in the race, we can actually do stuff. <laughs> but yeah, last lap in the stage, and we are going to try to get eighth on Sieg, and we're actually going to do that, so. Hooray! And yeah, look at that. We gained like another two tenths on Briscoe. I think he is catching on track though, so I don't know how much validity that is, but alright, well, I'll take it. That was that was beautiful. It's nice that instead of running like 28th, I would imagine, or probably 20th, I don't know, but that was good. That was good stuff. We'll take four tires and fuel, and we're eighth, so that's good. Now, stage two is where, gonna get, where it's going to get interesting, because we're going to have, we have track position, and... When the tires fall off for them, we should be actually able to gain a couple more spots, so... This may be good. Though it is 12 laps, so it is 2 laps shorter. 
may be a problem. But for right now, this is this is not too bad. Though I, I imagine we're gonna probably lose some spots. But well, we're on the outside too. That doesn't help either. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're falling back. So we're back to 11. Tyler Reddick's back here. I don't know why. That's very un Tyler Reddicky. And Brendan Brown's right there. Got a lot of cars all over. So we're probably gonna fall back to like outside top 15 at this rate. So that's kind of normal. I drill the outside wall for no good reason, just trying to get people room. And yeah, I called it. Yeah, outside top 15. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is why I had their tire wear on more effect because this is a little bit ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, it's just in the short run, we just get absolutely demolished. We're back to 21st. That sucks. And we're probably going to fall back even more, so. Well, that really didn't accomplish much. We're going to probably finish right about the same as we did in stage one. Because we're going to eventually start picking the pace up here in like two more laps. This, though, it's just frustrating. Because we just lost so much time. And I started good, too. And I just, I just went back to basically where I qualified. Okay. The car is starting to do things again. It took, it felt like it took a little bit longer than usual, but we have finally have gotten to the point where the car can do things and make passes, which is nice. But we need to somehow get back to eighth where we were at the end of stage two, and I just don't know if, if the car can even do that. That just seems a bit unrealistic to expect that, but I'll try. The answer to that question is no. We are not going to get back to eighth, but maybe a little bit outside the top ten. I don't know, but. Yeah, that sucks. We just lost so much time in that start. It's just comically bad just how off we are in the short runs. And that's probably where I'll be running is like 20, like 21st or something if I didn't have, you know, the setting. So, 14. Alright, well, the final stage will probably be about 5-6 laps of nothing, and we'll probably pull back to like 24th, and, or 20-something, but yeah. So, I'll give it about 5 more, 6-7 laps. And I'll, I'll catch you all in a, in a moment's notice. About seven laps have gone by, and this is usually the point of the run where the car starts to, you know, do stuff. And we fell back to about 20th, so I was about right. But then again, I gave a lot of options, like 20th, and then I said 24th, so... One of those, I was right, so... Now we're starting to pick up the pace a bit, which is nice. Now, the, the thing is, the longer this goes, the better it will be for ourselves. And we do have to pay at least once, so I'll try to make it kind of clear-cut and, like, right down the middle the fuel because it's like 17 laps so I might try to pay a lot 15 or maybe 16 I don't know I may just try to stretch it as long as I can but with how many laps we have left to go to it just probably would be safer just to go with four tires as well even if they get, go with like right sides I'd still gotta kill them a lot so I feel like taking four is gonna be a best beneficial gain because it's not gonna be like the truck series where I only gain or where I take four tires and it's like five or four laps left to go so I feel like that's, that's our best interest so yeah and look at that we're 15 so Top 10 is doable so far. We're almost going to crack the top 10. Tyler Reddick has just kicked it up a notch all of a sudden. He was running like 15th to 20th all race long, and now he's, well, not a top 10 anymore, but still a pretty good comeback, all things considered. But yeah, we finally did it inside a top 10, and we're gaining on the leader just a little bit. Sendrick's not really caught up there. <laughs> and he's not catching up in lap traffic, so that's that's good. That's a testament to the speed of the car, or maybe just the settings I have. Ma ma mainly the settings. Of course. No, well, that, that kind of sucks. Everybody should be going four tires and fuel. I can't imagine them just taking right, so. Well, there goes like seven, eight laps right there, just down the toilet because we're going to suck, so. Yeah, we're going to probably pull back to 20th, and I'll catch you all in like seven laps. And I got front bumper damage. From that contact, I didn't think it was that bad, but I was uh, very mistaken. I'm just trying, I'm just trying to make the corner. That's all I'm trying to do. Kazgrawl just has to be a jackass, and god damn it, this, this does not make things easier. It actually complicates things a lot freaking more. Oh my god! I barely hit him, and it's like on the normal, like, contact settings. Good lord! Hell of a battle for a lead up there, or it was, all guy was on the outside, and then... Custer just drove right by him on the inside, so, um, never mind on that, but, 
Top 10 still doable. I'm amazed that the car has not fallen off as bad as, it, as I kind of expected. So uh, we have a chance. And if I can, I will absolutely just run the fuck over Kaz Grawl for a top 10 because th this is why I'm in despair right now. It's because of Kaz Grawl being a, a big old dumbass. And we have another leader change. Okay. Okay, the car's come alive. It's starting to do things I like. I just want to bump him. Just, just, well, I guess I could just send it on him just to... Oh, look at that. All guys fighting back. I appreciate that. This is like an epic battle up there. I just wish I could see it more. But, you know, with two to go, I really want to get by... I, okay, I gave him a bump. That's not really what I wanted, because that's actually going to give him more super-duper momentum speed, and I don't want that. But with him passing Gray Galding, that puts us up in the top ten, so that's cool. White flag, and Algari's leading, which I really, really want him to win, because Kamikaze sent me fan mail, and it had a 2019 Algari car in there, and that's really freaking cool. Also, Toxic mentioned about a corny card, and Algari's from... Iowa, corn, corny, it, it was it was really funny, it was really funny, I didn't even think of that. So we're three and four, we just passed Grawl we're ninth, and he's gonna win! That's so cathartic! Oh, this is gonna come out like a month later, but I feel like, I feel like the, the timing is just despicable right now, but I like it. Well, it's been a minute since we actually seen why yellow came out, but now we know. And it's just because of a blown tire. Oh, oh wait, that's from my accident. Okay. That, okay, what about the one before that? Nope. Uh, we have no explanation for why that one yellow came out before the Grawla one, so... Um, it'll forever just be a mystery in the universe. I don't, I don't know why it's so difficult to show a yellow, but uh, apparently so. I mean, games have done it back in the Thunder days from, like, what, 2002? 2020? No, mm, it's just too hard. It's it's just impossible. We have all the technology. We got phones now. Computers are really advanced. No, we can't do caution replace. It's just not even in this. It's just it's just too hard. It just breaks the universe. Well, at least all guy one, which is pretty badass. That also locks them into the chase too. And because we got a top ten, that's still pretty decent earnings. Sixteen thousand of merch pal. We're continuously getting more and more merch. So yay, seventy nine thousand. That's still not enough to what we need. So that kind of sucks. And we're still ninth, but Algar with the win that does lock him in. I don't know how many people we have to have a win this season, but I'll look at that. That puts us to nine hundred and sixty-three thousand, so just like forty thousand away or fifty thousand away to the next part, which, without a shadow of a doubt, we'll get to Chicago Land. Moderate driving because we got front bumper damage, so the whole car is destroyed. Even though we have composite bodies in the Xfinity series, but no, it's just it's dead. Uh, or, no, we're not going to have long games, Michael and Nat. Uh, no, we are not going kayaking this weekend, Steven. L -l 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 -l, whatever. So here's our playoff grid at the moment. So we have nine drivers or eight drivers with a win. That leaves just a couple with open spots. Tyler Reddick kind of pulling what he did last year where he didn't win until like the last two races where he got two in a row. So, yeah, that, that's adorable. But, so, yeah, that's interesting. So, um... Yeah, we got everything we need to go into uh, Chicago land. I'm hoping for like a top 15 finish because that's usually where it seems like we always kind of finish at these like mile and a half. But I could be wrong. But either way, we'll go in the qualifying. We have 90 everything. We'll just uh, see where we start and hopefully it's a good, peaceful race. On turn four, eh, it felt like a pretty like standard lap, but we're about a second off the pace like usual, which is not good. 24. Now. Yeah, that that's like a very typical start for us at this juncture of the, the curve here mode and who's starting first Michael and that wow we almost had a one two three even though there's no three in the Xfinity series but they tried but why is Jeffrey Earnhardt eighth and why is Ryan Sieg seventh I don't know but Cass is 11th so go figure but yeah so um we're 24th still eight slider and like usual, I would imagine we'll just do a lot better in the race. Usually we always kind of do. Michael Lynette is having a stellar weekend, and he's on pole, so I hope he wins. Austin Hill failed thing, so... Alright, well, of all to of all people we have to start next to, of course it has to be the the blank engineer, Jeremy Clemens, the, the, the road course ringer, and a, an ace on being a racist. So, not that cute? So... Yeah. Oh, look at that. His AI driver hit me. Okay, well, I guess he heard me. All right, well, 
I don't know. I don't know what the message is in today's video. I guess hooray to racism. But that's that's kind of fucked up message. Though. But I I can't condone that. Okay. Anyways, despite uh, uh, pissing off three people in the comments that don't like that, which I understand. Um, not really the ideal start I wanted, but that's what I get for being a crappy person, I guess. So, oh look at that. We're gonna get by Matt Mills and. All right, there we go. Okay, yeah, the car the car is pretty good. I just can't wait to get a 95, not only engine, but also suspension, because we saw in trucks that did so much, so. Once we get that, then I feel like we could probably contend for more top 10s and more money, and that would be a lot of a lot of joy. Halfway through the stage so far, and I gotta say, the car's not too bad. We're kind of keeping up with this main uh, pack of cars, even though I kind of did a shitty angle in turn one there, but yeah, this is about a very just typical run. I feel like we might gain more spots as the, as the laps go down because even though they have normal like tire effect, we do have a little bit of an advantage. Not a, not a gargantuan advantage, but something to the point where, hey, I can gain, I can do stuff. We'll get by Garrett Smithley and Kaz Grala and crack ourselves up into 19th. Try not to let him have any side draft. And he's, he's trying. I appreciate- oh wow. Okay, Garrison Smithley with around the outside. Oh, we've got the spot. Alright, perfect. And this might be all our car can do at the end of the stage. I mean, 19th, I mean, we still gain spots, which is good. But I just don't know if our car can get up there. Never mind. Just when I think the car has nothing left to give for the rest of the stage, here we are gaining more spots. Which is pretty cool. But, yeah, this is not bad. So this- our car can turn- to what? Can certainly get a top 15 if we're lucky, but stage two is just going to be such ass because for like six laps we're not going to do anything really. So it's just going to be once more just a waiting game for the car to pick up speed. So that sucks. that we actually gain a lot of spots there okay I'm sorry we gain a lot of spots there okay they're three wide okay that explains why Fincham did not give me much room all right well last lap in the stage Michael Annette is having a very stellar weekend because he just drove away from the field I don't know how many seconds that is that is a lot in just 10 measly laps so holy crap I'll finish off stage one side by side with Ross Chastain 15th that's good we gain nine spots that's that's actually pretty damn good so we'll try not to lose all nine of those on the restart. And we'll go from there. So, I don't know. And okay, we're still 15th, good. Six laps later, and we're back to 16th. We've definitely fallen off the map a bit, considering I was like 15th before the stage ended, trying to get 14th on Chastain, so yeah. This is certainly a step down. I can't imagine us getting back to 14th in four laps with how far back we are, but. I've been wrong so many times before, it wouldn't surprise me if I'm wrong here again, but it's just been all, just just frustrating. I just can't do anything. I just don't have the speed. Well, this is a pretty uh, forgettable stage. You know, nothing really happened from our perspective. We didn't even really gain anything back, so that sucked. Um, Chris Rebell won it, so that's, that's cute. So we'll pay here four tires and fuel and probably more of the same for give me six laps and maybe I can do something. So like usual, um, we're back to 15th, we did lose a spot. Just holding on for dear life, just trying to maintain these positions, but our car is just such garbage. Like, it's so frustrating that I like, got these starts, we're just that much off from everyone. I don't know, it's just annoying. So thankfully we're getting that 95 engine after this race, I would have to imagine, or we can get a yellow. And it's still too early to pit, so we'll stay out. And this will probably make things more, more of a pain in the ass. I may as well just show you how the start goes. I mean, it looks promising. It looks like, hey, we're going to actually do stuff. But then it just ultimately, we just fall back because once we up turn four and we get in that front straightaway, we see like how much we lack on the straightaways and it just hurts my soul every time. Yep. So, yeah, that, that just it sucks. And then we start falling back. 
give up like the bottom opening like that and then like, they can squeeze it in and, and just lose spots and it's a good time and all that that shit. Maybe these restarts where you know nobody pits and kind of start you know, rack them up again. Maybe it's not as bad as I thought because okay, well we're just gonna have Ray Black just. All right, well never mind. I've been trying to work on Brendan Brown here for a couple laps. We're just gonna duck it down low. And we should be able to get 14, and we do. Though we will be pit okay. Never mind. Well, everybody's pitting here with. Uh, that's 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 poor Jeffrey Earnhardt. That sucks. Uh, we're still gonna have like 10. It's like still an entire fuel. I'm just gonna go with four tires and fuel. I'm hoping that they all take four tires. Because if not, I'm gonna be pretty pissed. Okay. And we're 13th and for Jeffrey Earnhardt, probably in pit road. Well, I mean, we're 13th, which is good, but we're so much, like, just... We're such crap on these, like, first, like, seven laps. It's just, like, I can't do anything, so... I'll probably pull back to, like, 15th or 16th, and we'll go from there. Now, if this is, like, a green-white checkered and, like, how well we do on these initial starts, we could probably cheese the top 10, but... We need things to line up perfectly for that to happen, and usually that doesn't happen, so I'm not really going to expect that. But this is a very unusually good start, and I don't know why. Like, usually, I do I do not gain this many spots on the start, so that, that's shocking. And is that Justin Haley leading? It is. Wow. And poor Michael Lynette, who had the best car all weekend, is getting boned. And this is where we start to lose spots. This is why I say if it was a green-white checker, we could probably cheese the top 10 because this is the part where they start to finally start, you know, gaining speed, doing things like, you know, racecraft, and I just, I just I just can't do it. It's just not possible. And also, we have people like Chad Fincham in the top 10. Just probably going to drive right by me like I'm standing still. Good Lord, Brandon Jones, Justin Allgaier, Ray Black. Oh, that goddamn it. Well, I tried. And looks like Cole Custer's trying to pass Haley. That's oh, because Rebel. It's hard to tell. Alright, well. Back to the top 15 we go. But Jeffrey Earnhardt not only blew a tire, he's passing me. That hurts. I mean, he drilled the outside wall and everything, but no, he's fine. I, that, oh. Like, that bugs me. And he's still faster than me. Like, it, like, it didn't even matter. Like, that shit right there pisses me off. That, that's just, that's just stupid. This sucks. I'm just, I'm so tired of having, like, like, actual pre, like, top 15 speed, or maybe we get, like, 14th in this case, and then all of a sudden, you know, because, you know, we have to do a restart, and the car's just such trash that we fall back, and it just makes me feel a lot worse. It's, it's just very annoying. I don't know why Briscoe hit the brakes there in front of Clemens. Just don't be, don't be afraid of him. And... Maybe. I mean, this is the part where I said, like, seven laps is where the car will start to do things, and it kind of is, but we just don't have enough time. <laughs> Story of my life. I hit the back bumper of Jeremy Clemens. The car just wiggles like a noodle. Just got tight, and then I lost the spot. Like, how much more of a punch to the gut is this game going to, like, continue to try to do when I just have, like... I'm just trying to live my life. Is that really what we're gonna have to? Is this really what it's gonna have to be? Is this 95 everything? Is that that's the turning point where the car starts doing things? Is that really what it's gonna have to be? For all the other like ratings, almost mean next to nothing. Now, keyword is almost next to nothing. Not entirely nothing, but next to nothing. It's a tier above Heat 3 on that aspect. Man, yeah, we actually gained spots. We're doing stuff finally. We're going to turn three, kind of do a little bit of a dive bomb, trying to get 15, and it's not really going to work. We're probably going to get 17 because the car's on the end. No, it's not. Okay. Well, I'll take 16th then. I it really should have been 14th or maybe 13th if I was lucky, but no. I don't even know who won, but Jeffrey Earnhardt, who blew a tire, hit the wall, got top 10. That's annoying. And Christopher Bell won. I shouldn't be shocked with that, but thankfully we'll have enough money to finally... Finally get an upgrade to the car. 109,000, that's not bad. And yes, we do get over a million and 12,000, so thank the good lord we can actually upgrade the part to the car, which is nice. So when we go into Daytona, which I'm almost certain will more than likely win, 
we will get good payout from that and we don't give the incentive contract because I'm not a god unfortunately but I'm sure I'm gonna get some drivers mad at me just got a funch yeah funch what uh, I did not take you out uh, we are not going why would I go camping with races fuck you Jeremy Clemens uh, I did not mean to hit you Chad Fincham I am sorry well on to the next week and we'll see what happens from there 16th okay it's Friday again and it's Daytona okay so we'll go with four top 15s I feel like that's probably doable so we'll go with that and with that we'll finally improve our engine to 95 and that's beautiful purchase that and now we can go in Daytona bump that up to 95 and that's pretty hot yeah, we're, good. Right, we're good to go we have everything we need for Daytona next one is Kentucky which is a speedway well actually we could have put oh we could do that next race but um yeah we're all we're all good to go and everything so we'll start the work plan and we'll go in Daytona with 95 engine and we'll probably win it I got a good feeling about it in the Kentucky I have no idea but we may uh, go into that with the 95 engine as well, so we'll see. Again, I don't know if that's going to make the car unbalanced with the handling or what, but the next part will be the suspension, which is another, like, you know, million and 12,000. So, um, yeah, that'll be another 10 races if I had to guess. Standings, we're 10th. But we have three wins, so we're good, but we've been kind of on a bad slump, which is not running that well. So, that kind of sucks. So... Look at the look at these like finishing positions because like we got Pocono which is like 20th then we got 15th which is like our classic position almost at this point 15th to 20th is our classic position and then ah yeah. oh, this sucks well thankfully our worst finish is 20th this year which is better than last year because last year was like 28th so it's a step in the right direction but it's a slow process even though I could have made this a lot faster but I just ch I chose this I chose this. Big shout out to my two or three Patreon supporters at Dale Reynolds, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ryan Lazarin, Dave Hunter, Champ15, Alan Gray, NASCAR Number Site.org, Bailey Cares, Sean Hamill, Drew, and Jonathan Carton for their donation again. I appreciate it and it just means a lot. And hello, Jonathan. You're, you're a new one, so hello. Welcome. <laughs> but yeah, but thank you guys once more. I'll see you all at Daytona, Kentucky, and we'll see if um, we do productive things with the car and we don't run 15th, the 20th, or 20th. 24th I don't, I don't know 15th 20th I guess is what I'm trying to say but yeah either way I'll see you all next part and I'll see you all later and as always have a good day everyone